Hello, hello, Kiang here, and it's Friday. Happy Friday. Time for another page by page. And we only have two pages left before the end of the first signature. And um, it's my turn to pick a prompt, and so I figured I'd pick right at the beginning, and I'm gonna pick Halloween, because Halloween is right around the corner, right? It is next week, so it's like two days after, yeah, I think it's two days after the Friday after our page by page. So I think it will be perfect. So Halloween is the prompt. And um, this week, though, we're doing book pages. Terry over at Sweet Pea Papers chose book pages as our prompt. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to use this 12 centuries of English poetry. And we're going to use this Fighting Fire with Fire book, which is amazing. Look at this book. I love this book. It's, it's, oh my gosh, it's one of my favorite books. So um, I might even make like a whole journal out of it at one point. <laughs> okay, let's grab a couple of bookshelf, uh, a couple of bookshelves, a couple of book pages. All right, we'll grab a couple of book pages to put, use as background and collage and stuff, right? And then I want to pull, well, let's see, what do we have in here? Looks like we have some scraps from this book that we can use. And this is the page we're going to use. So because I did a center spread, right? I did a center spread and I did, um, where is it? this one, right? So I did technically two pages in one day. I did like one page. So I had to add an extra page. So we have a flip. So we're going to decorate the flip and that's going to be our page for today. And then the very last day will be this page, which will be Halloween. Um, and that's the plan. So I think I'm just going to get right into it. I think we're just going to collage. So I attached this extra page on here with some washi tape. I glued some washi tape on there. I'm hoping that, um, that it sticks good and lasts. Okay. So yeah, let's just rip up a bunch of these book pages. You know what? I'll use these edges too. I like them. They have that caramelized color on them. They're very pretty. So we'll do that. And then I'm thinking we will do a little bit of inking. And I have these new domed, um, you know, the new like little domed ones. They're domed instead of flat. So I'm excited to try them. I'm going to use walnut. Okay, we got ink on there. So yeah, we'll just ink all of our little edges and glue them down. Doom, doom. What else do I know? Don't know too much. Um, I do know that the ephemera book that I'm going to make right after this, after the purple series is going to be a, um, I'll probably use 12 by 12s because I have so many ugly 12 by 12s that I need to use up. And so I'll probably use those for, uh, for the ephemera book. I think that's the plan. What do I think of these domed, um, I like them. The domed ones, I like them. I really, honestly, I don't really see much of a difference, to be honest, if we're being truthful. All right, so let's go ahead and glue these down and I'm gonna grab my glue book and we're gonna use the Uhu stick because it's the glue stick that I have. 
and trying to use them up. And I find that they work pretty good, especially with thinner paper. I'm going to bring all of it off the page and then we'll um, trim it. That's the plan. do I know tomorrow is the page by page with Miss P and we'll be doing numbers 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 and I have an idea so I'm gonna well that didn't go off the page did it Wonder, do I have time no <laughs> no <laughs> it's on there it's not going anywhere This one. Overlap a couple of them. So that looks nice. I think we'll put this one here, um, I think down here, and we'll overlap it there. We just need to put some ink on it. And then we have to figure out what we're going to put in the middle. I'm thinking of like putting an envelope. Right, I have some envelopes. We could do a faux envelope. Yeah, let's do a faux envelope. Okay, I'm going to ink. Well, let's trim it. Let's put the cap on our glue. So these scissors, these are my nice Ginger scissors. They're made by Ginger. They're really old. I've retired them to paper crafting because I have a new pair of fabric scissors. So, so okay, we're going to ink the edges of the page. Okay, so there we go. We're going to put a faux envelope. So let's use one of these pages. There's this one. There's these that we can use with all the numbers on them and stuff, which I really like, right? It says like horse carriage, horse cart. the index. Well, let's do the index. We'll just do this page. Right? Right. So we'll trim it to be Oh, I don't know. About that wide. Right? Pretty I mean, not too thick. We want to see the book pages on the outside. All right. Right. So let's see. Perhaps we want it like this. So we'll put it on there like that. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's ink it, huh? So yeah, you know, it's funny. There's, 
always so many ideas and never enough time. Like I want to do an Alice journal eventually, right? Terry, Terry's been doing a, um, an Alice journal and it's all inspired me. I've been wanting to go do an Alice journal, but I mean, that's way out. And um, I want to do like a cooking journal and like a vintagey journal and then a, uh, I'd love to do like an, a vintage ephemera journal where most of the journal is made using vintage ephemera. I think that that would be really cool. Okay, so we're not going to close this, right? We're not going to glue glue it. We're going to leave it so that you can open it and write on it and stuff. Um, but how are we going to close it? Let's, let's do a circle. A circle. Let's see, I have this. We can do a circle of this. What about that? I think that's perfect. We also have the other side, which is this blue. But I like this. This is like Tim Holtz paper that I have some scrap of. I'm definitely going to do an autumn journal in November, I think. Okay. I wish this would stick. <laughs> All right. Yay, our little faux envelope. It can get stuck on the page down here, I think. And we'll put a tag in it. Since we can, there's nothing stopping us. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I played with my jelly plate for the second time. I love it. I guess I'll show. Look. Ooh, so pretty. And I should be able to, like, use them in my purple journal. So, yay. Okay, so we need to put a tag in there. We have this tag we can stick in there. Look at that, it fits perfect. So let's ink it up. And you know, I don't know where, can you believe I lost my freezer board? Of all the things to lose, right? The freezer board, like really? And um, how does one lose a freezer board? So I'm convinced that the gnomes got it, <laughs> the crafting gnomes. I don't know what they would need a freezer board for. Why would they need such a thing? But um, I do have this scrap. I do have this scrap piece. So we'll just, we'll just use that and we'll ink it using the walnut. And let's pull an image from this book. I think there are smaller ones. Let's see, are there smaller ones in the back? Oh, look at these. Oh, those are cool. Let's see, there's these. Oh, I like that. And there's kind of nothing behind it, too. It's like a hydraulic pressure gauge. Okay, I'm going to try to get the words of the pressure gauge. So we'll cut this two up here. So we saved most of, definitely this one. 
Okay, so we can stick the, oh, look at that. That's great. It needs to be like evened out or something. We'll cut it with the decalage scissors. Huh? Just barely, and then we'll ink it. I think we'll ink it good, probably on the board like this. Like we did with the tag. Yeah, I do like the rounded. It definitely inks better, right, like this. You get less, you definitely get less of those, like, circle lines. Ta-da! Okay. See, I, you know, it's funny, I was thinking... See, I've been watching a lot of people's videos, and I notice, you know, everybody has music in their videos. And I don't have music in my videos. Uh, we make our own kind of music. <laughs> uh, we sing our own special songs, even if nobody else sings along. <laughs> okay, moving on. Ta-da! Fireman. Name and wall plates. Hydraulic pressure gauge. Awesome. This will go in here. Don't do that. There it goes. Ta-da! Yay! So there is one side of our flip. And it needs something right here. It needs like some numbers or something. Let's see what we have. We have these numbers, right? So let's definitely use one. Let's use, I don't know, I'm really liking the eight, but I also like the seven. We'll do the seven. right here. Oops, wrong tool. This is the one we want. Seven. I don't know why seven, because that's that's what we're going with. Seven. And then we're also going to put, let's see, what else are we going to put? I think that's good for right now on this page. Um, we could put some buttons. Buttons, buttons. You know, it could use a couple of buttons. I'm going to use this Beacon All-Purpose Tacky Glue, which I really like. It's, uh, where are we going to put the buttons? Let's put one here. And I'm not going to put a string in it. I'm going to leave it like that. It'll add a little bit of bulk, but that's okay. So we have a button. Let's put one more up here next to the seven. Like it's like a seven degrees. <laughs> I don't know. Or a seven zero. Ta-da. Okay, so there's that page. Right, and now I just want to do this page. So I'm not going to do anything fancy, right, because we already did the last page. But what I do would like to do, what I do would like to do is I want to put this page 
I'm going to put this page on that page as like a display page. Okay, I'm going to cut it out, and the ladder is cool too. Okay, let's cut it out, and then I'll even fold it if I have to. Oh my gosh, I'm like, where's my cutter? Well, it's right in front of your face. <laughs> oh, if it was a snake, it would have bit me. That's what I think. Greenwich Road, Section A. Merriweather Sons, Steam Fire Engine Makers. So cool. Okay. Save most of the back of it as well, but say la vie. I'm gonna glue it down. And we're gonna have this little bit of extra. But I'm thinking I the paper is pretty good quality. I should be able to fold it. I'm gonna score it. We're going to score it because I think that's the safest bet. Gently. I don't want it to rip if we can help it. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, it's good quality paper, though. Look at that. going to be fine. Okay, I'm going to glue it onto the page. <laughs> like that. And we're going to ink it. And then that will be it. We'll be done. And then this page will be Halloween. So, and I don't know what I'm going to do, but that's what's going to be next weekend or next Friday anyway. I've always considered Friday to be like the beginning um, or start to the weekend, you know. I've always considered it like part of the weekend. Technically it's not. <laughs> I don't think so anyway. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't ever know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh, okay. There we go. Yay. You want, maybe we'll put a person that looks like they're on the ladder. Oh, we got to put a person, huh? Okay, I'm just going to use my art glitter glue and we're going to glue just the whole thing down. All right. Down you go into Terry's journal. Why are you crooked? Why is it crooked? Oh, it's not. The tape is on crooked. That's what's going on. Well, figures. <laughs> That's okay. We'll be able to put a piece of trim or something on it. Yay. So there is our page for today. 
1874. I love it. Oh, we got to put a person. That's right. I was like, I'm forgetting something. We got to put a person. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're all flying. Well, you're too big. Although it's kind of cool that his legs like dangle off of the edge. There's this guy. He kind of looks like he's standing up on the, up on this part, right? His feet. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> I find it ridiculous. Let's see, what about this kid? I don't know. I like the guy standing up on the ladder like like a weirdo. <laughs> I don't know why he's standing up there. He's inspecting the ladder. I don't know. He looks like all casual, though. I love his hat. He's got a cool hat. Okay. Billy, Mr. Billy is going to stand here up on this ladder. He's an acrobat or something. Yay. Awesome. And there we go. I suppose we could find someone to put down here. Right on our... Hmm. Let's see. Let's grab our little treasure box of gears. We could put a gear on. Oh, it needs it. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? It just screams for a gear. Okay. These are like little plastic like buttons. They were a whole set and I found them at Hobby Lobby and they were pretty cheap. I think they were like $4 for a whole package of them. And uh, yeah, these were the ones that I brought over to my... Oh, no, those were the wooden buttons. But yeah, these were very similar in that I brought them over to my husband and was like, can I get them? And he was like, of course, he was like, uh, yeah, of course. Just why are you even asking me? <laughs> so we also have these awesome... Right, we've got... I think this is good. Okay, so if we want to rust it up, right, grunge it up a little bit, and it's not rust. I have some bronze here, though. Let's, um, alrighty, so this is what we're going to do. I have a little pot of water here. I'm going to grab my freezer paper. This is the one, this is the one I was using for my, uh, doing like jelly printing and stuff and stuff and I was playing with the jelly plate. Okay, let's see. What do we got? We got some Okay, so grab some of this bronze and we're going to water it down. We're going to put spl splatters if we can. Bronze splatters. Ta-da! Yay! And then it just needs to dry. 
Okay, so we're about dry and we have some bronze splatters. The only thing that's not fully dry is that beacon glue that's holding down our pieces, but that's okay. We're gonna let it sit and we're gonna let it dry. The only la the last, very last thing that I wanna do really quick before we call it a day is I wanna draw some detail around the edges of the page. Right, and I think this one is too thin. It's my five. This one's better. So I'm gonna draw some detail around the page. Just gonna, um, just freehand um, doodle. I would call them little doodle squiggles. Little doodle. Doodle squiggles. <laughs> Ta-da, doodle squiggles. Okay, let's do the same thing on our tag. Let's do some doodle squiggles. Oops. I marked on my board, what can you do? Ta-da, doodle squiggles. <laughs> and it's done. Today's page, right, with a flip and a faux envelope that one can write in. And that's it. That's it for today. I am so happy next week. Next week will be the last page in our page by page of the first signature anyway. And it will be Halloween. So exciting stuff. Um, I had fun. I hope you guys have a great day and a great weekend and everything. I will talk to you later. Bye.